Red, yellow and blue. The three primary colours. As long as you have these three colours, you can make any other colour. Alexander Calder used predominantly primary colour in his artworks. In fact, he saw secondary and tertiary colours as elements that essentially distracted from his artworks. In this art appreciation activity though, we will explore all three of these colour levels so that students might develop an understanding of how all colour is manipulated from the three primary colours. To begin the art appreciation activity, students are instructed to form into small groups. Each group will have the opportunity to select a primary colour that they will explore. Each group will have access to a digital camera and be directed to investigate the school grounds and buildings both inside and outside to find representations of their focus colour in both a natural and a man-made context and then to take a series of photographs of their findings. For an effective discussion of the students' investigations, each group will be instructed to find a minimum of five photographs each. The students will then be instructed to create their own coloured paper with the purpose of using it in the art practice activity to construct a mobile in the style of Alexander Calder. The students will begin by creating coloured paper in the three primary colours of red, yellow and blue. This will form the highest level of their mobile. The students will then mix two primary colours together to create a secondary colour and, to, and use it to create more coloured paper. The students will then mix their discovered secondary colour options with an original primary colour to create at least three of the infinite possibilities of tertiary colours. Students will create coloured paper in their tertiary colours to form the base level of their mobile. The art appreciation activity can also be used in a range of cross-curricular activities for a greater depth of understanding in a wider range of interest areas. Such opportunities might include a literacy activity such as writing a piece in a journal about how a particular colour makes the writer feel, a history lesson about the origin of colour, a social study of colour, exploring the importance of colour to particular cultural groups including customs, celebrations and festivals etc, incorporating the importance of colour in religious practices and feasts. There are a number of possibilities.